NBC Studios in New York. It's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. All right, everybody, we're back. My next guest is a comedian and actor. Now you can see him each Sunday night in the new HBO sitcom Lucky Louie. Please welcome Louis C.K. <laughs> Caught the uh, premiere of your show the other night. Very funny. Thank you. Yeah, yeah you got to be psyched. I am. I'm very excited. And uh, a lot's going on. You got a new baby? I do have a new baby. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is like a police interrogation. Yeah. Were you? Uh, th that's, do. that's very. So this it's is uh, nice to have a baby around. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing though. Yeah. You know, right. they don't teach you how to have kids. No. They, they teach you how to birth them. Like you go. Did you go to birthing classes? Went you? to birthing class. Yeah. I just think it's weird that there's birthing classes because that's not. You can't do that wrong. Yeah. It's, it's coming out. <laughs> it's not, like if you don't take the class. Oh, it came out my eye. I should have taken a class. You know. <laughs> But then once there's a kid that you could ruin, they just kick you out of the hospital. Good luck, idiot. You know. That's the shocking part to anyone who hasn't had a child. There's, mm -hmm. there's, you, the baby shows up, and mm -hmm. there's this whole nine-month build-up to it. Yeah. And then the minute you have the baby, they say, get out of Nobody here. Nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah. And what's worse is my wife will, like, send me out with a baby. Like, go out. I'm like, you're never going to see either of us again. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm right. the most useless, and I'm, I'm, I forget stuff. Like, one time I had her in the stroller, and I take her to the car. We're in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. And it's hot, so I go get the AC going. Mm -hmm. I come back, and I realize this tailpipe is right in her face. And she's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God! <laughs> I almost destroyed the child. How could I? How could I tell my wife that that's how I killed our kid? Like, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, you know. Like, I'd have to throw her into traffic. My baby, or something like that. I couldn't. I couldn't go home and face that. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. Yeah, I think so. That would be the right call. Do you have a lot of friends who are married with kids? Do you have people that you can talk to? That's so. I don't. I have a lot of people that I associate that have kids who I hate. But uh, I, don't, I have. I don't have friends that don't have kids anymore because right. I don't relate to them, you know? They're, they have a lot of time on their hands, those people. Right. And I don't, like, I get IMs, little text messages from right. a friend of mine who has no kids. And, like, he wrote me, he said, I'm on a plane and we haven't taken off yet. That's the IM, that's it. Right, right. So I wrote back, I hope your plane crashes. <laughs> oh, man. And he gets upset and he calls me and he right. says, take it back. You have to take it back. I'm like, why? I hope it actually crashes. So why would I take it back? And he says, well, how are you going to feel if the plane crashes now that you said that? I'm like, are you kidding? That would be amazing to know I can do that. <laughs> the power. Best day of my life. I say happily, things and they happen. Yeah, happily trade your life for that power. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it doesn't work anymore with other people once you have kids. And also, it's lopsided. Like, the what you expect from children and what you expect from adults is totally different. You expect a ridiculous amount of politeness from your poor kid that you never... Like, I could be at a bar with my friend and he'll say, Hey, you fat, bald douchebag, buy me a drink. Mm -hmm. And I will buy him an expensive drink. Right. That's just the way you talk to each other. Yeah. yeah. But I'll be in the kitchen with my daughter, and she says, Papa, I want water. And I go, and how do we ask for water? Do we say, please, when we ask? She's like, hey, I'll die of thirst if you don't get it. I can't reach the glasses, you idiot. Get me the water. It's not fair. Now, do you think, do you think you're a good parent? No, Being objectively. I'm, no, I'm awful. Because you don't turn into this great person when you were a parent. You just become, you turn, you're a jerk who has a huge responsibility now. And right. I lie to my daughter, like shockingly. She's four, and I've lied to her. What, like, kind, of, what kind of lies? Well, what are you like the, about? the other day, I was eating these chocolates. Somebody sent my wife these chocolates, and I'm not allowed to ever have them. But they're just getting moldy. She won't eat them. Right. So I'm eating them. Right. So I'm in the pantry and I'm just, sh you know, I'm not even enjoying it. I'm just going, screw her, I can eat these, you know? Right. Like, I'm not, it's a totally self-defeating moment. Sure, yeah. But I'm eating the chocolates and my daughter catches me. And she says, what are you eating? And I, I said, uh, these are black tomatoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now she thinks there's a thing called black tomatoes. Right. That's right. who I'm raising. I lie to her constantly <laughs> like 
Every time we're walking down the street and she's telling me a story, right. I'm lying that I'm listening to any of it. <laughs> First of all, her stories suck. They're not interesting. Not, but, there's not a linear progression. No, this, you know. <laughs> but also, I would listen yes. if she had any notion of like traveling of sound. Like we're walking on 8th Avenue and she's talking like this and I, I would have to put my ear on her face to hear her right. in the middle of traffic. So I just go, wow, yeah, wow. And I just keep saying that and she keeps her going. Right, she's satisfied. Because yeah. she has no problems. See, I can't do that with my wife. Because if I'm talking to my wife, she says something and I go, wow. She's like, why are, that doesn't match what I said. You're not listening! <laughs> but, you know. Wow. I was actually listening. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> I do that during celebrity interviews sometimes. Sure. Wow. Sure. What kind of parents did you have? Because they, they always say that that can have, uh, well, that can my, be important. My parents worked very hard. They both worked and uh, they didn't uh, pay much attention to what they were doing, I don't think, because uh, like they sent me to camp when I was in third grade. Mm -hmm. and this is a true story. Um, they sent me to camp. They didn't think much about the camp. They just picked one out of the phone book. This is true. They looked up a camp quickly in the phone book, didn't look into it and just sent you there. That's an absolute true story. Mm -hmm. Camp for retarded kids. True story. <laughs> I'm not lying. Seriously. I'm not lying. My God. I went to camp for retarded kids because my parents <laughs> were very unthorough in the research. They were not, they didn't, yeah, not vet the situation. And I'll, I'll never forget the moment I arrived there and I look around and I go, oh my God, <laughs> I'm retarded. <laughs> oh, God. No one told you. How would I be the only kid who's not? <laughs> and I guess that I figured that's how they tell you. They yeah. just send you and you show up and you go, oh. <laughs> oh well, here we go. <laughs> get, 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 get this. Oh my God! <laughs> wow. All right. So that's the kind of parents I had. Yeah, coming. yeah. If I can beat that, I'm in good shape. <laughs> yeah. We have a clip here from uh, Lucky oh, good, Louie. Good, yes, we yeah. do. Uh, well, set this clip up. Help me with this. This is uh, my wife wants to have another kid, mm -hmm. and I think it's a horrible idea. Right. It's directly from my life. All right. <laughs> because we had no money, and my wife, I want another baby. And I said no, and then she had sex with me after a seven-year drought, and so there we have now a daughter. So, uh, <laughs> but this is fiction. Okay. And this is uh, my wife and I arguing about whether or not we should have another child. Let's take a look at this clip from Lucky Louie. Kim, we can't afford another baby. But we always said we'd have two kids. We agreed when we had Lucy that we wouldn't make her be alone. Yeah, but not now. Do you know how much we have in checking right now? Negative $50. <laughs> we, we have to raise 50 bucks to be broke. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not waiting. Lucy is four already. I'm getting pregnant right now. Well, you ain't getting pregnant without my sperm. <laughs> that is not your sperm. That is our sperm. That's my sperm. It's a new concept. <laughs> it is our sperm. It is our sperm. Uh, Lucky Louie airs Sunday nights at 10.30 on HBO, and uh, Louie's new DVD, One Night Stand, is available in stores now. Hilarious stuff. Thanks a lot, Thank Louis. you very Louis much. Louie C.K., we'll be right back. Be your own pet. Stick around. Mm -hmm.